Critical Care is not the film I hoped it would be, but it's not a bad film. It's just not quite what I was hoping for. This was released in 1997. It's directed by Sidney Lumet, or Lumet, and written by Stephen Schwartz, based on the novel by Richard Dooling. I haven't read the novel. If you have read it, I'd be quite interested to know what you think of it. And the, the narrative is what drew me in, and it sounded really interesting for two reasons. The narrative from IMDb is as follows. A hospital resident is put in the middle of a legal battle between two half-sisters on whether to pull their comatose dad's life support. But more seems to be at stake than dad's life, his inheritance. Now, I love medical dramas, and I love legal dramas, courtroom dramas. So I thought this is going to combine both. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. It wasn't fantastic. It wasn't bad. But I just don't think it did either aspect particularly well. It wasn't gripping, it wasn't intense. But it was quite funny. And I think James Spader as Dr. Erst gives a fantastic performance. And for me, he kind of kept the film going because there were times when I just I thought this narrative's not going anywhere. I'm not bothered about most of the characters. But with him whenever he was on screen, which was most of the time, I found it really engaging and, and quite entertaining. So while the narrative does let itself down, I'm really impressed with the set design, particularly on the wards. They're kind of... It's a very creative approach, and I don't know if this was a budgeting reason or some some other reason, but the way they've designed the hospital wards is really, really intriguing, and it really draws the eye in. It's very white. There's no... You know, you have like the bed and the whatever life support or machinery is needed, but everything else is crisp and white and it's it's really weird. It's weird to watch, but it's absolutely beautiful. So certainly the visual quality is brilliant, the cinematography is, is really lovely. The acting is good, I have no issue with that. The casting is really good. And we also have Helen Mirren in this and Anne Bancroft, uh Albert Brooks, Jeffrey Wright. Everybody, I feel, suits their role well. And I have no issues with the acting, no issues with the camera work. The set design is lovely. The narrative is interesting. And it is quite comedic. Sometimes it's quite dry humour, but it works. It's not the grippy drama or comedy drama I was expecting. But it's good enough. Would I recommend it? Yes, I think I would. Just don't expect something fantastic but it's it's good enough in a nice way to spend a couple of hours. Critical Care is not what I hoped for, but it's not a bad film.